All right, this is Double Double J whipping with Joe. This will be my 25th hour, 25th hour on the uh, Sigils. We've got the Rebel Wind Cheater. We're popping the Who, okay. The Pili Lure from Mark Santiago, PiliLure.com. And this will be finished our two hours of popping here. Um, we've got the seven foot Fenwick HMG inshore. And we've got the Sigils. Sigils Okuma CJ 6000H. And what happened on this guy here this morning? It, it was it, it, since I got it, it's been cranking gritty. And now it's, it's cranking gritty, but now it's hard to crank at times. And this is with no lure that I'm popping, just straight cranking. It's hard to crank. First thing I check is a roller band to see if it binds up. And it's still going. So that, that it wasn't the roller band that was giving the issue. Then I checked if the tip was tangled up and that was not the case. And so whenever there's a, a problem where it's hard to crank, I try to find out if the line has been obstructed in any way. And uh, but all that time it did hard to crank. I, I couldn't uh, see any obstruction. So we're gonna send this guy in after 25 hours. We're gonna send this Cedro in. So sorry, Okuma friends, but by the way, this is my 15th reel, and I've been through a I mean, I feel testing 82 right now, and uh, all reels basically has failed. A lot of them failed by 20 hours. Most of them failed before 40. If it passes 40, I, I recommend the reel because I'm popping two ounce lures. Creates a lot of torque. A lot of people don't believe me, but that's what's happening. <clears throat> of all the reels I've sent in, basically they've maybe changed the, the, the drive gear, the pinion gear, or the bearings. Or they say clean and lube, <clears throat> which is a Daiwa condition. They don't tell me what they repaired. The Fuego was 21 hours before failure, hard to crank. It was awaiting parts, so they had to repair something and it wasn't clean, just clean and lube. Top reel out of all those reels I've field tested. Is 81 since I'm field testing the Spheros right now. The 2021 Spheros. <coughs> the top dog is Spheros 2014. And that one there went for 355 hours before failure. And the only thing bad was the roller baron. Only thing goes bad on the Spheros. Very watertight reel, durable. Caught me a whole bunch of GTs. Second one after that was a uh, pre-production model, a tsunami, Saltec. And that Saltex was a four, like a $400 reel, and that went for 135 hours. The Sparrows had 200 hours more than that. Anyway, <clears throat> with, I sent that one in. So, the next one after that, top dog, has been the Quantum Cabo. <clears throat> that one went for 125 hours before failure. And I fought a, I think I fought a Toro for two hours. I think it was long though. I fought that tower two hours and then there was a failure of that one there. But the next one after that, after the Quantum, has been the 120 on one hours Ferros 4K. And the issue was that was the Roller Baron. The Bill Roller Baron. And then after that has been a Stratic 8000. I treat them guys because I like them. Longest. 76 hours before failure that was changing the pinion gear in the main gear might have been a bad one but <clears throat> Stratix at that time hasn't left we got the new one now it's called the salt water and that's made for salt water but anyway I thought I'd share it with you this morning but anyway this sea just right now is going to go in three so after 21 hours it's already sorry hard to crank right here it's already hard to crank right here and I got to just green in the lure but anyway, again, WWJ whipping with Joe. Sorry, Okuma fans. Sejus, CJ, 6000H. Hard to crank. Greedy and hard to crank. Aloha.